Hey guys, today I'll show you the mods I use in Trove. I believe this video only applies to PC. As far as I know, you can't have mods on consoles yet. Anyway, let's get into it. I'll start showing you guys the useful mods, then go into the cosmetic ones. All links with every single mod I'll talk about will be in this video's description for you to download. That said, first useful mod I use, Mini Boss Raider by Novus. Very good mod if you're farming dungeons. It will point you the location of all bosses by projecting a light beam on their position. It also works with Curse Skulls, Dragon Bosses, Flamatron guys, so yeah, really useful. Following in no particular order, next useful mod I use, Boss Health by uh, Storm Reaper. This mod displays the total amount of health Shadow Tower bosses have, along with a DPS meter telling you how much damage your team is doing, and a timer telling you how much time the boss fight takes. Fun checking the DPS a Shadow Tower team can deal, useful knowing the boss health as general knowledge, I guess. <laughs> Good job Storm Reaper. I just realized I could've sorted these mods by author. So next, we got Stormtrooper again with his clock mod. This time he gives us the ability to check how many dungeons per hour we are currently clearing. Very fun to track while farming. And the mod also shows how much time you've been playing for in a particular world, along with displaying a clock. To quickly explain the info here, um, clock and the time spent playing are pretty self-explanatory. The Dungeons Cleared Tracker first shows how many dungeons you cleared since you started, then uh, gives you an estimate on how many you are able to pull off within one hour if you keep up that pace. Next useful mod, we got Storm Reaper yet again with a mod called Karma Tooltip. This mod allows you to check how many boxes you've opened and uh, how many more you got left until you activate your Karma Bar. This also works with gem leveling, just pick a booster you wanna use and uh, it's gonna tell you how many tries you got left until your gem will level up. And uh, it also works with the Cubit Bar, telling you how many more dungeons you gotta clear until you'll get your cubits. Very useful stuff. The mod also does um, some other things, but since they're not listed, I'm not gonna talk about them. Once again, link for all of the stuff I'm talking about is in this video's description, unless stated otherwise. Next we have Novus with his uh, customized VFX for Shadow Radiant Stellar mod. The mod does what it says, adds custom video effects for Shadow, Radiant and uh, Stellar drops, so you will not miss them when you'll get such a drop. You might ask, who's dumb enough to miss a Stellar drop? Well, me. <laughs> I missed a Stellar drop, and it was recorded, it was on video. I recorded that and uploaded it to YouTube. I only noticed once people mentioned it in the comments. I wonder how many more I missed until I loaded this mod. Here's how the particle effects look on every item rarity.
The final useful mod I use is made by Atis and it's called Club Members Sorting. This is very useful for people who manage big clubs that often get full and want to remove the inactive people. This is how it works. The mod adds a button that sorts inactive people by last login time, so it's gonna be easier for you to kick them out. In our club's case, if you have been kicked for inactivity, you can always ask to come back. Always. Another thing worth mentioning with this mod, <laughs> it's gonna lag your game. A lot. Even on good machines. But it's all worth it. And that's about it regarding the useful mods. Let's get into the cosmetic ones I use. In no particular order, once again, we have a mod created by Griffin called uh, Leutnin. It means lightning in derp language. As the name suggests, it adds a cool purple lightning for my uh, Baron of Blade spear. Now the lightning on my uh, head matches the one on my spear. Thank you very much, Griffin. The description of this mod says private. I'm gonna talk to the mod creator, see if he wants his mod uh, uploaded somewhere. If he does, then I'll link it to you. Next mod also comes from Griffin and uh, he created these wings for me. Purple lightning wings that uh, match the lightning on my spear, that matches the lightning on my head. How cool is this? Same thing about the link for these wings guys, I'm gonna talk to him, see what he says. And the final cosmetic mod I'm using is made by Leo Vax, and it's an ally mod. As you can see, it's a little evil purple minion on his little evil fortress mount, following me wherever I go. Awesome work. He also made a version where the minion dismounts his fortress, which looks like this. And that is it guys, these are all the mods I use right now. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.